Salmon Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things. Hey, welcome back to Airman Cave Archives. So tonight, I thought we'd take a look at a couple historical type items uh, that we have here in the Airman Cave. So, first up, we've got the Negro League Baseball Secrets uh, Edition. And basically what this is, it's a DVD or a movie that uh, Dennis Bowes Bidley, uh, one of the Negro League players, actually put together. Now, it was pretty neat for me to be able to meet him because he was actually at the BX or Base Exchange here at Maxwell. And he had the opportunity to uh, sell some of his books and memorabilia uh, as well as um, merchandise there. And I stopped off and talked to him and kind of got his story. And we uh, exchanged information and everything. And so it's kind of neat. He put on here, best wishes Nelson from Dennis Bose Bidley. But uh, yeah, pretty cool story. And the reason he did the DVD was because a lot of the older um, Negro League players, they're passing away. And so those stories and those memories are, are lost uh, uh, as it would be. And Kind of similar what I'm trying to do with this for my memories, obviously of way less significance because these guys, you know, they did a lot in their time uh, to be able to break those barriers and, and do a lot of the things that they did. But I thought it was kind of cool that uh, he was taking that on or championing that task uh, to be able to get the individual stories out there uh, so that they're archived for uh, history purposes so that we'll be able to never forget what it is that they went through. Now, the second item that we're going to look at tonight is, let's see, oops, uh, Edison Manufacturing Company stock, and it's actually signed by Thomas Edison. So, too cool. Now, backstory, my uncle Jack, he actually got this and several other items from Thomas Edison uh, through his mother, whose brother actually worked, I guess, in the office with Thomas Edison. And pretty neat story, uh, looking at some of the different items that he had, because there's a W.C. Handy, who's the godfather of blues, and uh, there's correspondence back and forth between Thomas Edison and W.C. Handy in regards to, I guess there was a play or something that Thomas Edison had produced. And the music was similar to what W.C. Handy's uh, music sounded like, and they kind of had a disagreement, as it would be, on uh, the rights and the usage of the music. And the cool thing is he's actually got another uh, correspondence piece from uh, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison's office where they're talking about, I guess, uh, Henry Ford had loaned Thomas Edison some money, and he... It was come time to give him it back. And I don't know if there was interest involved. I hadn't been able to uh, look at the specifics of it. But yeah, so you've got these two uh, greats of uh, invention basically bantering back and forth about, hey, dude, where's my money? And the way that I came into possession of the signed stock was because I'd been bothering them forever, going, oh, man, you know, I'd love to be able to pick one up from you or, you know, get one off you. And uh, I was getting ready to deploy for a year, and so that was one of his uh, gifts to me, and I, it's the coolest thing in the world, and I sincerely appreciate it. And he actually got to be on the TV show Auction Kings. I believe it was season two, episode seven or eight, uh, on the same episode as the... There was an Elvis Presley uh, Cadillac, I think, and a Bruce Springsteen guitar. So that was kind of cool that he was able to, to do that and, and uh, sell a couple of the other uh, Edison 
uh, autographs. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by again. And don't forget also to uh, subscribe, comment, and like if you do. If not, uh, you know, give me some comments and let me know what I can do to be better. Now that you know about these two pieces of history that we've got here in the Airman Cave, uh, go out and do yourself a favor, look around the house. I'm sure there's some stuff that you all have uh, in your home that is of historical significance as well. So just be sure to tell its story so others might know about it later on. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Cave Archives! Knowing and doing are two different things.